Hi, my name is Mark and I'm a Dutch-based photographer. I used to make videos about photography, photo critics and Photoshop and Lightroom in Dutch, but this is my first video in English and I will do that more often on a regular basis in the future as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how this picture can be improved by just using Adobe Lightroom. I took this picture during the golden hour and the sky was really amazing but the only problem is you don't see it right now before i make some changes in the exposure of this picture i'm going to the lens correction panel it's below it's uh, this panel and what i basically do with all my pictures first is to enable the profile corrections to remove distortion i also check this box always remove chromatic aberration and then for this picture as you can see the pictures on uh, the buildings are not straight and in Lightroom 5 you have this uh, option the upright option and this is a new one so if you're using uh, Lightroom 3 or Lightroom 4 then you don't have uh, this function and then you have to use the manual menu over here so for this picture I can use this button auto to see what happens and for this picture it work, works great so I will leave it like this then I'm going back to the basic panel the first one to make some changes in the exposure well the problem here is that the sky is too bright and well the landscape and the buildings are okay so what I'm going to do first is bringing back the highlights because most highlights are in the sky and as you can see the clouds are more visible now but it's still too bright so what I'm doing now I bring the overall exposure also down just to um, make the clouds more visible and also see the orange color uh, in the clouds but as a result the landscape the buildings here are too dark now so I can uh, brighten uh, this part just by uh, using the shadows and I'll put them right here about plus 80 then um, in most pictures especially landscape pictures I want a white uh, pixel but also uh, some black pixels and you can use it with you can do that with the, the whites and the blacks so and by pressing the alt key and this arrow uh, you can see exactly when some white pixels are visible and I just want a few so like this and I do the same with the blacks and then a little bit more to add some extra contrast in this picture and this is the result of the exposure corrections so if you compare this with the picture from where we started it's already a big improvement but we can do even more so I often use clarity especially for landscape pictures um, not too much about 30 is enough for this picture and a little bit of vibrance also not too much if I go too far you see the colors are not realistic anymore so about 10 it's enough for this uh, picture then um, I will add some sharpening um, when I took this shot I didn't have a tripod and as a result I had to take this picture with ISO 1600 so quite high and as you can see here there is some noise visible um, well first I add some sharpening for this picture around 75 and well now I have even more uh, noise in the in this picture but um, well first I'm using the masking tool uh, why because I don't want to sharpen everything in this picture so by pressing the alt key and clicking this arrow everything 
is white now and everything all the white is getting sharpened and that's not what I want so I'm moving this slider to the right and as you can see all white parts are sharpened now and the black parts are not sharpened and I think about 50 is good for this one so then we have uh, some noise to deal with I'm going to a darker part of the, of the picture so right here as you can see there is some noise I can zoom in this picture as well so just by using this slider we can remove most noise and well about 20 maybe a bit more 24 is enough for this picture so almost all noise is gone now but then what I really like um, is uh, a bit more color contrast and what you see in the sky you have the clouds here uh, with an orange color and I want to make this color even um, more saturated so I'm going to this panel HSL and I'm going to saturation and I would like to have more saturation in the orange colors so about like this as you can see there is some yellow uh, here as well so orange is plus 34 yellow is plus 10 and to make uh, more contrast between uh, well this part which is a little bit bl of blue and here the orange part I will use a gradient uh, filter for that what I do I uh, take this filter and I just want to make an adjustment in the color temperature and I would like to add some blue in this part so about 40 minus 40 like this now we can play around a little bit more to see the result in the picture directly not too much so now we have a color contrast in the sky and I think that's really nice for this picture then I would like to crop this picture also um, well this is a nice part of course and here the buildings and here the roof of the train station and well this part here is a little bit boring so I think I will crop this picture like this let's check if it's completely straight all right so that's better now as well what can we do next well for this picture and this is something I really like is post crop vignetting so I will make the corners of this image a little bit darker so the focus is more in, in the middle of this picture and that's also yeah, the most important part of course because the sky here and also the reflection of the sky in this building is really amazing well, the last thing I would like to do is to brighten uh, a few parts of this picture to get a little bit more attention uh, to those parts so I will use um, a radio filter for that and I reset it I press the alt key now and then effect is changing to reset and by pressing reset now all the sliders go back to zero so I will make few parts a little bit brighter and by making some elements in this picture a little bit brighter you get more attention on the, the most important most important subjects in this picture so one of the buildings I really like is, is this part uh, the cubic houses and so what I'm gonna do now is to apply a radio radio filter to this part and now 
the result is the opposite it makes it a bit darker but you have the option invert mask and then you brighten this part without changing the rest of the picture so it was like this it's now like this so it's just a small uh, adjustment and sometimes if you working on things like that then you know, sometimes you have the feeling that everyone's going to see it but believe me no one is going to see this uh, as long as uh, the exposure correction is not uh, too high so if you go like this plus uh, 0 0.33 that's okay no one will see it so I will apply it on this roof also I think it's a nice part like this and I'll copy this one you can do it by uh, right click and then duplicate and I will add I will add more of those filters. And that's just to um, make the light a little bit more interesting. So, like this. Sometimes you can even do it in the sky. So, just by just do it like this. And now it's a little bit too bright. So. I think for this guy it's not necessary to do so I will remove this one but sometimes it really works well well um, I will add a new one and then do the opposite I will make it a little bit darker and just for this part because it it is too it's not the nicest part of the picture of course I can remove this part as well but for now I choose to make it a little bit darker like this so I will show you before and after so as you can see the radio filters they make the light a little bit more interesting one last thing I want to do in this picture, I will add another gradient filter uh, with a minus uh, yeah, for exposure and I will apply that in this part because this is the m it's not that interesting so and it was still it was like this it's a little bit too bright and I want to have the, the full attention in this part of the picture so I will make uh, this part a little bit darker and what you also can do is uh, clarity bring it a little bit down so the structure here oh, in this part is less visible now so also a small improvement but all those small things will result in the perfect picture so this is the result so on the left side you see the before on the right side the after and as you can see the picture is much much better now so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, maybe you learned also uh, a bit more about adobe lightroom and just uh, subscribe to my youtube channel uh, to stay up to date for new videos